Hey guys, it's your boy Tinky back again with another vlog. Like I had mentioned earlier this year, I wanted to do more of traveling, especially in, within the United States. So today's presidential day, so I thought that maybe I would take a couple of days off and travel around DC. And I chose to travel to Philadelphia because apparently I got tickets for free. Yes, I got tickets for free. I went there before with my cricket team. Yes, I play cricket. <laughs> I try to play cricket and uh, yeah and that was i mean i didn't visit any places but i went through philadelphia and i thought it was a big city which needed exploring so i'm gonna be there for like 24 hours so let's see what all i can do in 24 hours so while on the bus i'll be like trying to list down things to do at least it'll be like three to five things that i want to do um, but one thing for sure is to try out the philly cheesesteak which is recommended by like literally anyone who who i've told that i'm going to philadelphia so monday is presidential day yeah let's see how it goes uh, i'm gonna wait for my bus it's like in half an hour and yeah see you guys from philly Made it to Philly. It seems like it's always sunny here. So just having a cheeseburger, bacon cheeseburger from the shop called Nathan's, I believe. Um, so yeah, that's like the first night that I'm having. I haven't had lunch. Hey guys, so I made it to Philadelphia, Philadelphia, and it seems like it's always sunny over here. Right now I'm standing on a bridge, and that the, the river behind me is called, uh, I can't pronounce it, it was a weird name, it's like Sh Shave Kill River or something. Um, yeah, I'll just write down the caption in there. It's actually called Shuich Kill, uh, it's written over there. The weather is pretty uh, warm, uh, I believe about like 10, 12 degrees Celsius. Uh, and yeah, I just went to the station, had a burger, which was alright, wasn't like great or anything like they claimed to be. So yeah, let's keep moving to the other parts of the town. And I almost made it while watching the game on my phone. Alright, so that's the city hall of Philadelphia. And uh, I think I'm right now in the heart of Philadelphia. There's a metro station down here. Oh, the, I can see the gothic architecture a bit over there. I don't know what that building is. Let's see. Looks so nice though. This has got to be such a pretty cafe. It's a Starbucks as well. It's quite like a... Very like a theme, nature. Yo, it's like I'm in a castle or something. There's a compass drawn. West, south, east, north. Yep, I'm heading east. I'm in the right direction. We're in a new brand of town. And, uh, yo, that's kind of freaking man oh my god it's Alice Pisa which was there I think in Italy I honestly don't remember but I remember going to Alice Pisa in one of the cities with my mom and my bro 
I can't remember which city it was. It was either Rome or uh, I think I think it was Rome. I think it was Rome. If my memory is right. I think it was Rome where all my days I lost the over me. This part of the city looks a bit like New Yorkish with the billboards and uh, a bit more modern building with with a bit of history as well. You might have to just pause the video to read it. It's just the first amendment of the US Constitution. Right, so like I said, I didn't plan that properly to go come to the city. So I just thought, why not I'll just spend a day here in Philadelphia. So that's why I'm over here. But I need to do two, three, four things that I really want to do, which is first of all, is to have a Feliz cheesesteak. Second is to watch the Liberty Bell, which I'm really close. Third is to watch the first White House. Then it's the Rocky's uh, step that he climbs in the movie. And those are mostly, yeah, the museum, either the art museum or the prison museum. Um, I'm more inclined towards going to the prison museum because I'm not that big fan of art, but I heard it's really one of the best art museums in the country. So kind of debating what to do over there. So that is something I'm going to be doing tomorrow morning. This is good. So that is the Liberty Bell and it's kind of like closed in. One second. I thought it was in the open. Kind of disappointed for it. So yeah, at least we checked off one out of the five. Independence Hall, I that's where the first constitution was signed. That's where America was made, basically. So we did two things. We saw the Liberty Bell, which is quite disappointing. And also we saw the Independence Hall. There's a lot of um, information available to read. I and my household. President Washington, big up George Washington, the opener of the way. A lot to read over here. Death cards, oh man. So that ladies and gentlemen is the Franklin, Benjamin Franklin Bridge. And that is the American Water, I think it's a restaurant. And uh, the person in my hostel, the lady told me that across the river, apart from that building, is one of the most dangerous places in America. You know what, it smells like fire and then I realized that it says over here no fireworks but it literally smells like fire. Okay, so that place is quite interesting. A lot of shady people and a lot of shady stuff. Also a very shady environment. So yeah, let's see. I'm gonna go get some uh, light dinner. You get a 5% discount if you use cash cost me like ten dollars to get this one i don't think it's that expensive in dc everything costs like about uh, more than ten dollars so it's quite big actually so let's dive in oh my god it's so hot i think i got a bun Ooh. that was such a good chili cheesesteak why do you keep saying chili cheesesteak it's philly's cheesesteak that was such a good philly's cheesesteak I would recommend it for anyone coming in here. You can also check out the Google reviews and whatnot. So I think I did three out of the things that I wanted to do. I saw the Liberty Bell, I saw the, the Independence Hall, and also now I had a Philly cheesesteak. Just the museum left for tomorrow, and then we have so much time to do, oh my God, my cap straw. And yeah, we have so much time to do other stuff as well. I still have about 24 hours to go. Coldplay's been playing here. This place is like a strip of restaurants and stuff. But anyways, good location. 